A global market failure has frustrated the development of safe, effective and affordable new medicines for many underdeveloped and emerging nations. Key representatives from the United Nations, academia, industry, not-for-profit and regulatory sectors came together to share insights on how working collaboratively with each other and those impacted can begin to address this complex and timeless issue. To achieve these goals, we will need partnerships. I think in particular that uh, cross-sector partnerships and knowledge partnerships. By thinking differently, by thinking creatively, that by engaging through multi-sectoral partnerships, that there's a tremendous opportunity for sustainably engaging all nations in delivering healthcare solutions that matter. How do you incentivize the private sector, the academic sector, the NGO sector to start working on these diseases that really are serious threats to, to our well-being? Why do we even do public-private partnerships? Well, the answer is that no one entity holds the answers, the expertise or the resources. That's really the bottom line. It's the best business model moving forward. Let's put the problem on one side of the table and we all sit together on the other side. That is partnership. It's not the subcontracting of one party by another. It's what two or more parties can each contribute to the overall achievement of the goal. We cannot do it alone. The industry cannot do it alone. And we need partners to do this. We need partnerships uh, to make this happen. I think that it is science that is going to, to drive developing safe and effective drugs globally by knowing who the patients are in the various countries globally. Having input and close participation from the regulators would be the best moving forward. To tap into local knowledge, to acknowledge the knowledge that is available. Focusing on sort of the big ticket items and the, um, the things that can really make a difference. We need a new regulatory paradigm where regulators work hand in hand with industry to structure more efficient clinical trials without jeopardizing, of course, the safety and efficacy standards that already exist. We're a PDP, a product development partnership, but our job is to bring together multiple partners, multiple stakeholders, all with the same objective and to really try and leverage uh, the very best that we, can, uh, that we can make available. There are drugs out there like Coatin Dispersible that are priced as low as 35 cents for a, for a cure for a young child. Through partnership, we were able to achieve uh, this result. With your help, with your input, your suggestions, we need to find additional partners. You saw these great partners, but there are many more out there that can help us do this and solve this problem. <laughs>